pooch. What? We just pulled my favorite card from the set. <laughs> It's time for Vivid Voltage from Sword and Shield. I still am missing two cards, can you believe it or not? My own card, the Leon Rainbow Rare card. I have yet to pull it from Vivid Voltage, nor have I pulled Pikachu, the full art Pikachu from Vivid Voltage. I have yet to pull either of those. Uh, Dark Energy. Yeah, Pat's on back. I have no idea why my voice is gone. Croc Rock. Uh, Swello, Rockruff, Taylo, Yanma, whoop, there it is, Dedene, and we got it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, how is that possible? The Rainbow Pikachu! I don't even know how much this card is worth anymore, but who cares? We have just pulled the most valuable card from Vivid Voltage, my goodness. A rainbow Pikachu has been pulled. It also took me years to pull this one. It took me 420 days, wink wink, to actually pull it. Not this one, but there's a video you can go watch just so you can see the back of it. My goodness, off center a little, but who cares? Number 10. What was this Blastoise again? Obviously, I recommend weighing them several times. Okay, this is 21.45. We're gonna go with this Blastoise one. Sorry, we were gonna go with the Venusaur one. And Blastoise from what old would we know in the past usually has a Charizard on the inside. Shall we begin? I, I think we should. So, Sealed Collectors, which includes myself, please look away. I'm trying to make sure all the cards, oh gosh, are down there. Well, that's some good air, which I can't get to right now. So I think it's three cards. Yeah, that's a little curvy card right there. So this pack, again, ladies and gentlemen, is open. 21.45 grams was the weight after actually weighing it a couple times. Sit back, relax. Let's see if we have any Ray Stamp first edition cards or any other type of misprint or air cards. If I miss anything, please let me know in the comment section. Let's see if we pull a Charizard. I'll be obviously super happy with Blastoise. I'll be really happy. And then of course, we'll check the condition of the cards because that makes a diff big difference uh, for any of the cards. Seal. Hopefully I'll also get some starter Pokemon of either Pikachu or any of the big three. Revive. Nidorino. Maybe a little, the stamp is it's not as like deep impact of black ink. Nidorino. Rattata. In fact, the previous pack that I opened up in January, which the video you can go see had gray stamps, which was fantastic because it was gray stamp Pikachu and then I got them graded. Well, there we go, everybody. Say it with me. Energy. We get one more energy, I believe. And I'm gonna say psychic energy. Well, there's a drowsy. This was a very heavy pack, so we'll see as we get a Poliwag. Was hoping for a Squirtle, but it's okay. More chances to come. We have the next energy. Yes, it's a Fighting Energy. I think we may have one card after this, if not the rare. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the rare for a sec, but a beautiful Charmander. Hey, I'll take it. Centering looks fantastic on this one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, we're at the rare. No matter what happens, I'm just grateful to be opening up, to be able to open up a pack like this with y'all. We have a, oh, it's not, we have one more card, my gosh. I'm sorry, I, perp I did not mean to do that. So we have a potion. Now, uh, I'm shaking a bit over here. We have a, a Magneton! So it is a Magneton holographic, just as I had predicted that it would likely be based off of our past. Uh, but this is in fantastic shape, at least from centering 
an initial whitening, maybe a tad bit of whitening in the top right, but overall a first edition Magneton has just been pulled. Number nine. But here we are. First edition Charizard pack. Just so you can get a very nice look at this one. So I think it's been a while since I opened up the Charizard pack art one. We will try to make history today in what is likely the first Charizard pulled from a Charizard pack art. But okay, here we go. You know the risk, you know the fun, and above all, again, I say this every time, I'm just grateful to be in the position to open up a historic pack like this. So I truly hope that y'all enjoy this because this is a lot of fun. It's open just like that. It's open. All right, very nice. Get a little whiff of uh, 25 year old air. Now it should be three cards. Just to make sure, yes, okay. Again, I will need everyone's help. Please look out for misprint cards, ink air cards, anything that I miss today. But the pack has been opened. Let's see what we can do. A Machoke. You know by now the top cards we wanna pull. Unless like a Chansey or Hitmonchan is in absolutely perfect condition if we wanna get it graded from like PSA or Beckett or CGC. That is what would be a big win. But that being said, we wanna go for the outright win and pulling not just one of the big three like Blastoise and Venusaur, but make history by pulling a Charizard. Now there is always the risk, just because it is a heavy weight like this, that there's not a holographic on the inside. But the weight is fairly heavy, so I'm really hoping that there is something nice. That's fiery and, you know, not a nine tails, but <laughs> Weedle. I'd like to get one of the big three, maybe? Ratata. First energy of the day. It's nice that it has the first edition symbol on it. Moving on to a drowsy. And then we have, is that a Squirtle? No, it's a Poliwag. Well, uh, no big three for this pack unless, what do we got here? We got another one. It is a energy. Final energy and what may be the final card. We have gotten through this pack very, very fast. Well, here goes nothing. It is a Zapdos holographic. So no Zard, but thankfully no polygraph. Let's take a closer look at the centering of the card. Looks fairly, fairly nice centering wise. Perhaps there will also be no print lines on this thing, hopefully. Oh no, I think there may be a print line going across it right here. Oh! Let's take a look at the back. There is, uh, looking at the corners, a, maybe a speck of whitening at the top right over here. Otherwise, all other three corners are perfectly gem mint, which is a big win. But if I'm like looking at this right here, it looks like there is some sort of print line, but I'll have to do some more looking at that. Let's also get a sleeve. Number eight. Guys, again, sit back. It is time for Legend Wait for a Dairy Collection. Reverse, guys, it doesn't matter if uh, you the hollow spot in these packs. It is all about that reverse holographic spot. To this day, I have never seen somebody pull a reverse holographic Charizard. It doesn't mean it's not out there, I just personally haven't seen it. Of course, I've never even done it, or even close. So let's see what we can do. And I'm actually forgetting if there's a card trick for this. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I don't think there is. So let's just see what we can do. Now, Legendary Collection was only released in English, it was originally gonna be base set three, but was just because you're seeing it's a combo of fossil and other different types of base set cards. Uh, not even base set, but base set like that, excuse me. Voltorb, Bill, Magikarp, Potion, I see the sparkliness of the reverse, Psyduck, so they are the packs were uh, by type, not the actual holofoil, it's different, but you can see we'll probably get some more electric types coming up. But lots of water types. Golduck, 
Psyduck, Seal, lots of water types, and a dark version hollow. Well, how about that? I'm still gonna be extremely happy about that. Need some food though. And a Pikachu reverse holographic! That is a very, very nice pack. Let's check out though, as we did get a holographic dark version. There's the dark version. Let's check this out and be very careful because these reverses, you see that you need glasses for this firework card. There's always print lines on it, but I don't see any on this thing, guys. I don't see any print lines on this. Reverse Pikachu. That's great. Number seven. My goodness, look what pack we are at to now. Call of Legends, fun fact, this was only printed in English, Call of Legends, it was not printed in any other language. Actually, I take that back. It was not printed in Japanese, but I'm pretty sure there's French Call of Legend packs and maybe a couple other languages, but basically, it was only a subset, specifically uh, having other hard gold, soul, silver cards in this set. And the most important cards, I think there are 12-ish shiny Pokemon, like Rayquaza, like Lugia being the number one shiny Pokemon, you can pull from Call of Legends. So, uh, base, I mean, I really say from here on out, but you got platinum and some uh, diamond and pearl. Like, not all the platinum and diamond and pearl are like crazy sets, but like Call of Legends, Heart Gold Soul Silver sets, these are fun. These are some of my absolute favorite sets of all time. So, let's see what we can do with Call of Legends. Maybe get a shiny luck and see what we can do. See, but look at how, how beautiful this is. The uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver cards had a more ancient type of look, like scrollish type of look to the cards of the borders, which just really looked cool. Jolteon with the Lightning Stone and a weird face. <laughs> Dawn Fan, Chikorita, Pidgey, Relicanth, Hitmon Jackie Chan, Snubble, <gasps> A shiny Deoxys! One pack magic! One pack magic! A shiny Deoxys has been pulled! I'm so sorry, Typhlosion! I'm so sorry! There's the Typhlosion! Yay! He's looking snive because we have pulled one of the shiny Pokemon. That's insane! This is the first shiny SL1. A shiny Deoxys. That is absolutely incredible. It's off center from right to left, but I'm, I'm not gonna grade it or anything. We're just making memories right now together, and that is incredible from one pack. We got some one pack magic. Number six. Neogenesis. Uh, we want that Lugia. We want the Lugia. There's also the Typhlosion as well. Not gonna do the card trick, because it's between you and me. It's always changing. Oddish. Marie. Moo Moo Milk, Cleffa in the background, Swinub, Cyndaquil, Stantler, Zatu, Ledian. Is that a hollow? No, uncommon. I'm getting distracted as we go to baby! Typhlosion! Typhlosion 17! Oh man, I'm gonna faint. Oh man, I'm gonna faint. We just got T17! I'm as red as the card right now. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, calm down, Leonhardt. There's no print lines on this, and Neogenesis is notorious for that. Oh my goodness. A T17 Typhlosion has been pulled. Patch on back for that. Number five. Again, nothing too crazy. And also, again, don't forget to watch that vending machine video that I did of Fighting Energy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I actually took an old vending machine, made it into a Pokemon-themed one, put vintage packs on the inside, modern packs on the inside, beautiful gloom, and I... No way! It is just the very, very first half we have pulled! The little gold and Charizard! I wanted to see 
how this card would look and feel in person. Yes, it does have a little bit of texture. And yes, it does remind me of those like Amazon <laughs> fake Pokemon cards, I won't lie. But it looks so much better in person than that picture. And we have just pulled the Golden Charizard EX in the first half of this box. That is absolutely insane. Number four. All right, moving on to Secret Wonders. Uh, definitely a very, very great set with lots of cards to pull. Let's see what we can do in this one. Three cards. Make sure we're all good recording-wise and, or time-wise, excuse me. Recording's this way, and we are. We're just, a, we're getting to where the packs are then like each astronomically expensive. So for now, you just want to keep on making sure that it's actually recording. Sunkern, Trap, Raikou, Reverse. Not bad. And... Solisard has been pulled! I was saying this set was good. I was saying this set was good, and it treated us well with a holographic Charizard. I'm getting as red as the card. No way. Look at that swirl coming out of its mouth. Swirl collectors, you're going crazy right now. I'm actually serious. There are swirl collectors out there. But look at that. I've never pulled this one before. With the swirl coming out of the mouth, I, I think it's cool. So a Charizard has been pulled. My goodness. Number three. We have 20.94. I'm putting in a call, ladies and gentlemen. My call, you get one call per opening. Charizard in the 20.94 pack. You can put a call in too. You can guess a Blastoise but I'll let that be up to you. Let's see what we can do. This is the Charizard. I can feel it. Kadabra, War Turtle, Nidorino, Squirtle, Gust of Wind, Meowth, Rhyhorn, Betis, Energy, Energy, and no, it's it! We did it, we got the call! Charizard has been pulled! We got the call! I felt it! I felt it! The beautiful Charizard has been pulled! Wow, how about that? I thought I saw a swirl as well. It's a little off center from left to right, but how about that? A Charizard Holographic has been pulled. Number two. And? Oh, shoot. Uh -oh. It's a base set two back! Oh, base set two. Oh, my goodness. All right. Pikachu. And? There we go. Congrats. Let's go! Himonchan! Raichu! Very nice! Congrats! Mewtwo Holographic! Congratulations! There's sleeves right here. <laughs> Hollywood! What E3? E3? Oh my goodness! You did it, man! They said two back! <laughs> Holographic! Congrats! Oh, no. Get ready. It's a Venusaur! Oh, oh. Hopefully, get something. They said two! No way! Pikachu. Pikachu. And, oh, is it a Zapdos? Come on, Zapdos! Yes. Zapdos! Very nice. There's a Charmander. Charizard! Congratulations. Hey, sleep right here. That's gorgeous. 
number one. Is there an eight in here? I surprised a fan with his dream Pokemon day, but there's more to the story. Meet Aiden, a 10-year-old member of the Heart Squad who loves collecting Pokemon cards, Minecraft, and Pokemon Go. In October of 2022, Aiden was diagnosed with stage 4 adult pancreatic cancer. Despite numerous attempts at treating it, the cancer did not go away. An organization called Jamie's Dream Team reached out to me. They make dreams come true for children suffering from severe medical conditions. Jamie's Dream Team helped Aiden put together a list of dream activities that he wanted to live out. At the very top of the list was to meet and do a video with me, Leonhart, his favorite creator. Get over here. Three, two, one, let's jam. All right, Aiden. Go, oh, he's going for the tens right off the bat. And you got 28 seconds. Mama, oh. Yeah, there we go. We got the cheer squad going on. You good? Oh, I did all the That was good. You can look right now. Oh my god. All right. I'm like nervous myself. This is so cool to see this many people here, Aiden. Let's do Gyarados. Gyarados? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, he's been great at opening up the pack and like save the pack oh. art as well, too. Oh, as he rips that. <laughs> well, I take that back. Energy. Energy. Full picks. Sandshrew and. It's a swirl. It's a big swirl on it right there.